as we'll save the information in the database. You will save it exactly in the field in the in the table. Name it login. So I just clean the screen. Let me describe the login for you. So you see, this is the login table. So to insert data in this table, for now if I just say select, that means select stuff. That means everything from login. That means show me everything that you have in the login. He doesn't show you anything. Why? Because there is nothing here. So in SQL statement to show the data, you say select star. That means all the columns from the table name. The table name login. Show me everything in the login. He don't have anything. So to insert data in the login, I say insert into the table name login. Then which the field I want to insert? I want to insert the first name. Okay, cool. I want to insert in the email. Okay. I want to insert in the password. I want to insert in the picture path. Let me just make it full screen so it will be easy to follow. So I want to insert all this information. Then I close the bracket. Then I say values for these. So now for every column, for first column, first name, I say, for example, Hussein. OK, close it. What about the second one? Email, I say a at yahoo.com. What about third one, which is the password? One, two, three, four, five. See, I add the data between colon because the data is sittering. Everything here is sittering. So I add them between colon. Then what well, the last field? Picture path. Let me suppose home slash user dot png. I don't have real things, but just here. So the SQL statement for insert, you just say insert into the table name. Then you open a bracket, give the column that you insert data in. Like I want to insert in first name, email, password, picture path. The values for every column. First column, second column, third, fourth, according to the order. Boom, he say done. If I say again, select the star from login. See, he show me. He say, hey, you insert one record. If you see, he just, I didn't add any user ID. I did add user ID, but he give me ID one. Why? Because I say this column is auto increment. If you remember, when we create this uh, column, we say this is auto increment. That means it will be created automatically. So now if I just create, add a new record, so if I just pump, 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 that means I need to repeat same thing what I did here, same statement. Let me suppose repeat it, but let me change the name to the. Uh, Jenna and the let's say Jenna at yahoo.com the password you could give it anything the user say user 2.png whatever click enter I say you create a new record if I just select star from see I have Jenna and Jenna have ID 2 because I say auto on increment that's mean he will every time he will create ID unique ID for every user. So this is the data that I created using directory but now what I want to do I want to use the PHP so, or the web service. The web service that I will use in this tutorial is PHP. So, it, first of all, make sure you have PHP installed and set up everything. You could install, just say PHP. You could go to the website for PHP and install everything from PHP. I will not go to the process of installing PHP because not my interesting area here. I want just to show you directly how I could work. So, to get started, for sure, I say create a new file. Or I say here, file, a new file. And I will save this file. Sorry, not not open. I will save it. Save as. I will save it in the folder named sites because in the Mac machine, all the web server for uh, for the uh, Apache will work from file folder named sites. So you don't have to do it from sites, but I have to do it because I'm using Mac machine. So in the sites, I will create a new folder. I will name this this one. It Twitter server because I will call it so Twitter so I a Twitter Twitter Android server I will name it Twitter Android server and boom create it then here I will name this file let me name this file for register I say register dot PHP why dot PHP because I want him to be I want to use PHP so register in this way.php so this is php file also i want to have a header for my application so i would use it so i would create a new file also so new and i will save it 
and I will save it here. I will name it DB info. I name it ANC. ANC it's part from the PHP. Like so you could name it PHP. Or you could name it ANC. It is it is like that. If, when you do ANC, that means this file will not be directly called. It will be called inside other file. So I would say ANC. So here I will in ANC I will define some information about my database. So what I will do in PHP to start work with PHP, I open a bracket. I say hey, PHP, and I just close the bracket. Okay, in this way. So some information I want to have it. One of them is the host. What do you think the host here? Host here is, is 127.0.0.1 because my local machine. I'm saving a local machine. If you are using a remote server, like you want to go to the production mode, you just change the IP address for the, your server that you upload your database there. Then the second variable, I will name it, name it. What a user here. The user I'm using here root. And what the password? Hey, I'm I need to add semicolon every line. Missing PHP. What's the password? The password here, I would use the same one I have one, two, three, four, five. This is because I want to connect to my local SQL. I want to connect to this SQL. So I would do it in this way. So then, what's the last one? Uh, the database. So I say database. The database, name it. You know the database that we created. So if you remember, if you don't remember, I could show you this is my database. Database name it to Twitter. Okay, so make sure mention the Twitter here. So this is all the information about the connection. I need I have what I have the uh, IP address, the username, password, and the database name. Maybe this information change it for you when you go to production. Now I'm running on the local machine. When you want to go to production, change all this information for the production mode and keep all the code same. You don't need to change anything. So now I want to connect. I define variable, name it connect. And this connect should have MySQL connect. And will take number of information. One of them is the host. He will take the host. As, and also he will take the user password and the database. So it will take the user. It will take the password. And it will take the database. So database okay hopefully everything is correct so now i just did connect then just want to make sure if this connect is success so i say hey if my if the connect there is error in the connection i want you to show me to die what i say i say hey die and show me this error message like cannot connect to database okay then then you just give the error message that you have it in the in the server just saying my sql connect error then open a bracket close it then close this one so a really basic process here i just define the host the user password my connect for this database my sql connect if there's if there's success there's sec that's fine if there's error tell me cannot sex cannot do it and to die and give me why you cannot do it this is just part for connect to the database so i just to need to import this header on my register and in every page so when i say php and i just I close this tag here okay and i could write my php code here so i would require here the that fill or i would require that that uh, that file name it db what info dot in so when i do deep require this this file that's mean exactly just take all this code and paste them here and i could continue writing my code but because i need this code in different pages so directory i add them here and i just require them and he will post them here so when i do require he will directory connected and check everything and i have connect variable and everything i just try to run my query so what's my query i say hey i want to run a query and the query i want to run it will be that query that i have it so this is what's my query is that right insert into that table let me just go by hey, instead first name that's hard coded directory replace it with the first name that coming from the query 
same thing for email same thing for run the query so I say hey hey result result variable name it result will be equal to my SQL I query like I, I, I want to run a query on the database on the connect from where I bring the, I don't have variable names here connect but I already inherited the connect from this file so from the connect run it on the connect and run this query on that file that's mean hey I want this query to be run on the database just say hey I have the database already connected just run this query on the database and that is if you success success if you not show me why not so I say hey if there is no result that's mean I have something wrong so whatever like I said let me suppose I have output here output and the output I would suppose to be this message uh, this message should be msg and the message data is just a message I should say it fail that's mean he cannot save if he success that's mean else make sure this one be in this way and if he success that's mean I was able to read the data so I could say output uh, record or user is added user is added okay then what I want to do just to print this one to the output I say print the output at output then when you're done I need to close the connection to the database I say my so cool I uh, underscore close hmm. close in this way the connect um, boom I should be set here I said so the question is this first of all create connect with the database using this information then define the query run the query on the database if he success, he'll give you success. If he fail, he'll give you why he fail, and that is. Now I want to call this file register. So to access to this file, this file you know where it's living. It should be control shift H, sites. Should be live here in the folder name it PHP Android service. So to access to it, I have to go to the host then I say slash the folder folder name slash the file that I want to call I want to call register.php I say register.php but this register PHP need number of information if you look through it he asked for ask us from number of information one of them is first name email password picture path so I need to pass this information also so going here I say hey register the first name let me suppose Hussein and then I say and sign the pass the email this way email I suppose to be uh, c at yahoo.com then and the password I would suppose to be one two three four five six seven and last one is the picture path hopefully i just get it correct so take copy hopefully everything now is correct and picture path or call whatever home slash p dot png so this is how to pass the information to pass the information to the server you just say the server name first name or call the value email or call value then password to call value and the page call value run it you say you have error on the line number seven so seven what he said here what he said about line number seven i just go back here he say parse error in tweet and register line number seven so six seven here you have some errors here don't know what is it maybe oops so and I find the problem I think here I have some error need to be fixed it's semicolon here also it's semicolon this variable need to have at before it 
because and this else statement is not correct so hopefully now everything is correct i don't know the php with this id i'm not well with it here you go message user is added so now if i just go to the database make sure that if the user is really added see here is it here is the user hussein c one two three four home yes we did a great job so now the service is ready so now whenever i want to call the service so here here should call service so whenever call service to a new register so whenever i want to register a new person just i call the service in this way and i just replace these with the re with the real values and here we're done thank you for watching see you next